We are in the middle of spring break season right now, and if you're planning a tropical trip with the kids, listen up. The American Academy of Pediatrics just came out with some new guidelines for swimming safety. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Rusak takes us to a new swim school in Williamsville where instructors are putting those guidelines to good use. This swimming class at Goldfish Swim School in Amherst looks like a lot of fun, because it is. But it's also one of the most important classes a young child could be enrolled in. Drowning is the second leading cause of death for kids from ages one to four, only behind birth defects. We can kind of change that statistic and make sure that we have less loss of life due to drowning. Heather Savers brings her son Luke here to keep him safe and to learn. He just needed to learn how to swim. That was just a life skill he needed to have. The American Academy of Pediatricians recently released new guidelines on how parents can keep their kids safe around the water. One of them is taking kids to swim lessons as early as one year old. Uh, we just applaud the AAP for updating their guidelines. Courtney Richardson is the general manager of this Goldfish Swim School. Swim lessons here start for children as young as four months old. The classes at our facility are all designed to look like a lot of fun. But a lot of the lessons are to make sure young children know what to do in a worst case scenario. And it typically occurs when there's unexpected access to water. So the important things like learning what to do and how to float on their back and how to climb out of the water is super important in case the parent isn't there. Other new guidelines include being in with arm's reach of small children and making sure the supervising adult can swim at least 25 yards. They are ideas that don't sound new, but with young children still drowning, their guidelines, the AAP and Goldfish Swim School, feel need to be in place. In Amherst, Jeffrey Sachs, 7 Eyewitness News.